in Bourbon. That's the way to go. Anyway, Jenny, thank you for coming. Hello, guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a long time in the making for you to come here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very exciting. How are you? How has it been? Uh, good. What very been, busy. What have you been busy with lately? Uh, we, uh, I just like reconstructing the gym. We add like four more heavy bags mm. in my gym, and you know, uh, I tr- I'm trying to do some, you know, woman Muay Thai class. Yep. Start next month, so I was preparing this. Thing. I feel like my circle of friends now are all like gym owners. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, just, I just thought that as well, <laughs> and that's so weird because it never used to be the case. Yeah. But now, like everyone, like everyone around my circle, are like gym owners. So. Yeah. For the listeners um, who don't know, Jenny is the uh, owner of Strike Muay Thai here in Shanghai. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's a Muay Thai gym, and uh, you guys have uh, have been going on for a very long time, right? Yeah. How many years now? Actually, uh, the original since two thousand eight. Okay. And so now it's twelve years. So what is that like? Being a woman running a Muay Thai gym in Shanghai. <laughs> <sighs> very tough. You know, because first I'm a, I'm a girl, and actually it's n- not many gym in Shanghai, especially for Muay Thai. And this industry, actually, to be honest, we don't really have that much competition. Okay. So, um, but you know, all the gym owners are you know guys. So I, you know, uh, pretty how do you say uh, stress about that because you know I'm not a professional fighter. I'm just a girl who like Muay Thai, and I just love fitness. So uh, when I first time walk in the gym, I wasn't a gym owner, you know, back then, uh, six years ago. But after I, you know, joined this club and be a student, and I actually work one year for the part time re- uh, reception girl in the old gym. Re- reception girl, reception just a chant Thai, right? Yes, okay. for part time for one year uh, when I was 21. And then I just feel like, oh, I really love this gym and I feel like it's my second home. It's my, how to say, um, shorter. You know, sometimes if I have, you know, heartbroken or have stress, I just went there. Uh, No Mm. matter, I was was leaving actually three hours back, going back to my place. I still go training at least five days a day. A total three-hour commute from back yeah, and yeah, forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Because I take subway, I have to walk 20 minutes mm. from the subway to the gym. Wow. But that was my power. You know, the gym gave me this, how to say, magic. You know, they make me a better self and make me more confident and stronger. So that's why I have, no matter what, how tired I was, I have to go to the gym and even just sitting there see people training Mm -hmm. and make me feel more you know uh, happier so after one year one and a half year i decided to become a gym partner Mm -hmm. so i invested the gym um then now for me it's almost four years to uh you know have this gym wow yeah so before you were kind of alluding a little bit to it's you think it's tougher as a woman to run a gym really to be honest, in the beginning, nobody believes, like, they, they would be surprised. They, they were surprised, actually, like, oh, what, uh, Jenny become the, you know, the, who running this gym, and they don't really um, <laughs> give a shit. Uh, but after a few years, I think I really work very, very, very hard. So I actually prove myself that I can stand there uh, in this Muay Thai in gym industry in Shanghai. I... I'm going to be the best one, the best one. I think the I'm best already gym you're the, ta- the, the best, best gym. gym. Yes, I think we already are because now we uh, we just start work with this um, French coach. Actually, he's just 21, but he has so much talent. So we just like bring him to our gym as the head coach, and now our business is really going up, and there's more and more members. You know, looking for us. So even during this COVID nineteen, we still open, and you know, uh, we got more followers and members. Which I, I wasn't that surprised to be honest. I just feel like this is the place w- 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 who people, um, searching for. Can I say this? Like yeah. They're looking for such a place like this. They can feel, you know, relaxed 
and they can find themselves. So this gym isn't just a Muay Thai gym, but it's a it's a second home. It's a shoulder for lots of people in this city because we need uh, this community. Okay, mm -hmm. I why I joined this gym business is just because I see these opportunities and the talent, the potential of this gym because the community. Yeah, our mm. members from all over the world. You can find anywhere, you know, people from anywhere. You can find uh, any country, you mm. know, uh, those people just in our gym. And they from also all of different industries. They mm. work like doctor, you know, uh, lawyers, um, banker, like mm -hmm. uh, actors, any industry. So it's very interesting. So you have just all your, your uh, members are just all different types of people doing yes. all different types of things. But I think like a lot of gyms are like that, right? It's just, yeah. you know, but like from a business perspective, um, I mean, is the gym, the gym's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be hard running mm. a gym right now in Shanghai, right? All the gyms are suffering. It's true, but uh, I am, I'm, to be honest for me, um, I'm, I'm pretty relaxed now because I, I I was actually suffering for years in this business and I finally start to know how it works. So how does I, it work? Um, secret. <laughs> <laughs> this is a secret. Anyway, I, I wish it uh, become better. Actually, I, I do have a question because you were saying that as a woman, um, it was a bit of a struggle at first, yeah. right? With people not understanding or not getting why you're doing it. But do you have any like particular stories of struggles, like particularly that happened to you that really pissed you off or really made you have that fire? Uh, to be honest, I, I never really pissed off. Okay. You know, no matter what people say, I don't really piss off, you know, because I know who I am. I know what I'm doing, so I don't have to explain. So yeah, I don't have this experience. Okay, but mm. uh, anything that happened that maybe not necessarily you got pissed off, but that, you know, just for our listeners to, to kind of understand some of the, sh the difficulties as a woman entrepreneur oh, doing, you know, I just, opening clubs. I just think of one. Uh, it's my, I can't say it's my ex-trainer. <laughs> my, my ex uh, had coach in gym. So he was also a very professional fighter, but, you know, it's very hard to lead. It's because... If I tell him to do something, he would say, hey, Jenny, you're not a professional. You know, you don't know how to fight. So uh, he's kind of not really listening. So it's very hard to me to manage, you know, fighters in the gym. But after I, I, I'm I, learning also, so I, I now, you know, just get better in the business. Well, that, that, that to me just sounds like um, he had an issue with you not being a professional, having not been a professional fighter. Yeah. But I don't think it was really an issue of your gender, right? I think it's also because of a gender and maybe age. Because of one, I am. That's I'm, true. You, you, yeah, I will, I'm much younger than the damn actually. And I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. So I think if today I'm a man, it's a different situation. I think. Really? You think that? I think so, yeah. Even if you weren't a professional fighter, but a man of your, a young, a young, a young guy, not yeah. a professional fighter, you think you would still have run into the same problems? Uh, not that much problem, but little. Yeah. Mm, there's a problem. Yeah. Well, you're involved in uh, other businesses too, right? The gym is just one thing. Yeah. Right. You're doing other things. You got a cooking show. You got, you got a uh, busy you're entrepreneur. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're involved in a lot of <laughs> other businesses here. So what what's that landscape like as a young? I mean, you're you're significantly younger than we are, uh -huh. um, and you seem to be a very motivated person. Yeah, in, in Shanghai, and especially with the uh, atmosphere and kind of um, buzz around Shanghai in terms of entrepreneurship and startups in general lately in the past few years. Um, like, where do you see yourself in that landscape, and how do you? How do you view yourself and what are the kind of like the struggles you feel you have to overcome to be successful? Uh, the first one is uh, never give a shit of what others tell you. Just don't listen to, uh, you know, others. If people tell you mm -hmm. that you're not good, you just ignore it. You don't take this, you know, serious. Okay. Because I was suffering for this many, many years, even from my, you know, friendship, my, you know, family. You know, in my whole life, 
uh, nobody really tell me like, oh, Jenny, you're good. Actually, no. Really? Yeah, yeah. Since I was young, like since I was a kid, nobody. No one, nobody, no one ever really gave you any positive support? Nope. Really? Just no, no. I don't know why. Maybe, uh, but I don't believe. <laughs> okay, I don't. Where I do don't you think listen. you get that strength from? I mean, that takes a lot of strength, especially okay. growing up. First, I'm I'm not good at school. Okay, I am actually pretty sucks at school. <laughs> 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 I'm you go. I think no uh, teachers likes me. You know, my whole life. So it's just because I don't like uh, you know study at school. But I like study by myself, you mm -hmm. know, reading, you know, uh, I always have lots of, I have lots of hobbies, you know, I interest in a lot of things, but just not in the school. Mm -hmm. So that make me a bad student. So that's why, okay, maybe my parents, you know, um, know about this, they think, you know, all my family, and you know, they think, okay, you are maybe stupid. <laughs> so that's why, very obviously. But this is, um... I mean, this goes a little bit to a conversation I think we had a long time ago mm. was um, like, because you keep, you say this happened for your whole life and you know, this, no one really, everyone kind of like talks shit about you or whatever and doesn't support you. So how much of it do you feel that it's real? I'm not saying it's not real. Okay. okay. But how much of it is, do you feel like is actually that the case or how much of it is maybe your own insecurities? You know, I think half, half. Yeah. <laughs> I think sometimes I take people, you know, wrong. I think sometimes they don't mean it, but I think this way. I absolutely have problem because everyone has a problem. Mm -hmm. This is my, you know, maybe yeah, I maybe I was insecure. Uh I'm not sure about myself. Th that was the past. Okay, mm -hmm. but now I think I I always, you know, accept what Okay, people if if they think I'm not good, I wouldn't uh, take like 100%, but maybe half. I have to think why it happened, why he say this, right? But yeah, half half, as yeah. you think. Well, because I've um, I can relate to that mentality. Um, I used to, I used to feel like you know, like people were like talking shit about me and like you. Yeah, I used to, I used to feel that way. There there was a there was a point in time in my life where I almost felt that way, and then. The older I get, the I realize like most of that, like sometimes it's real, sometimes it is real, it right? Is, yeah. But most of the time, I found out from my case that it was just all bullshit. Like it was really not real. And even if it was, like you don't like what you say is like you don't give a shit. Like you don't really put your energy towards that kind of thing. But a lot of it is really just in your head because once you adopt that mentality, and you become like wired to be very sensitive to these things, you start reacting to things that or misreading things that aren't the case and you take them as attacks you take them as criticism when they're just not you know so i i, I can relate to that keep living in la la land justin <laughs> <laughs> I no, hope you, like, you, yeah. you said you said to me once like you like like <laughs> you're so special that people will want to talk shit about you right and i was like but it's true it's like who am i like what is my what does that say about my ego yeah. Yeah. That I would think that everyone who wants to talk shit about me, right? Like it's 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 stupid. Do you think it's because you you was uh, you were cocky? I can see your face. I think you were cocky. Oh my person. god! Do it's I really obviously. do I look cocky? I, I get mean, that a lot. I do. Before, right? I get that a lot. I get that a lot, and I <laughs> it always blows my mind where that comes from, because inside, if you really know me, I am honestly I'm the least cocky person. Like I have insecurity, I have I, I have self esteem issues, you know I, I have all these things just like a lot of people do, so I am yeah. the least cocky. I, like I don't find, but I have many people have thought in first impression of me that I was a, a cocky person. Yeah. I have gotten that repeatedly in the past. So yeah, I don't know. Where I've shared this story the first time I met him mm -hmm. in China in 2010. I saw I him. Remember, yeah. yeah, I saw him, and I, and and I was like meeting everybody, and everyone's so friendly. I see this motherfucker, <laughs> and I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? He's a, he's a cocky motherfucker. I'm, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> I didn't like your ass either, man. Yeah, when we first met, we didn't like each other the first time we yeah. met. Actually, first couple of times. <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty normal, actually. Yeah, but Be I you I misjudge. You know, that's all it is. But I can see my, people might think the same thing about you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can see that. It's just because of my look, right? Yeah, they might think like you're a little cocky, you're a little bitchy, right? Like, right? <laughs> yes. So, 
I feel like um, the first impression, maybe that's what people think of you. But mm-hmm. once they get to know you, they understand. Like actually, Lee's cocky. Well, well, there's this there's this joke, right? So mm-hmm. I, I don't I'm I'm not making fun at mm-hmm. all. But okay. there's this joke called the resting bitch face. <laughs> you ever heard about that? <laughs> actually, no. You never heard about that? Okay, so there's this joke with some other friends I have, and and we have this one friend that that she's like, yeah, I have a resting bitch face, and and she knows it, and everybody always says that about her. But she's a sweet, she's a real nice girl, but. You know, she has the resting bitch face. So what does it mean? Some people just have a look, like yeah. they just like their natural look like is just bitchy. Face. Yeah, or like or like uh, like yeah, not angry, but just the bitch. You know but what I'm, I mean? Uh-huh. I'm also angry. You face. have a resting bitch face. You and do have also a resting bitch angry, face. And also angry face. You know, people. <laughs> well, that's, that's what they're. That's what the bitch comes from, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm telling you. There's one story. Uh, seven years ago, uh, when I was hanging out with a bunch of people. And there's a one girl just came to me, and you know he's she's hanging out with us, and then she came to me, and I I was just stand there, you know, holding my drink and relax. Mm. So when I relax, my face looks pretty angry, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she's asked me like, Jenny, are you angry? Actually, she's angry. She's real angry. Uh-huh. And she asked me, are you angry? And I, I just suddenly wake up because you know my mind wasn't in that place, yeah, you know. Yeah. I was like, no, I'm I'm not. But when she asked this, I'm actually pretty angry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like uh, always misstanding. Yeah. Maybe they're weak. Maybe they're weak, no? Well, I think this is just, uh, I, I mean, just some, some people are just born with a certain look. And sometimes that look is, you know, people have a preconceived notion to what that look is. Mm-hmm. You know, for example, like, like I, I always to always get like my mother, my family members and some friends. When I, when I was younger, I was like, I'm going to get some tattoos. And they're like, Howie, you shouldn't get tattoos. You have a guai guai lian. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Me? <laughs> like, what? And you do. Yeah. See, exactly. Baby face. Yeah, baby face. Exactly. So the- That's why you need a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> just right on your like Takashi 69, just right on your forehead, man. Yeah. Yeah, but no, but that's that is like a lot of people have um like a resting dumb face, right? Like a lot of people like like their natural face just looks like they look like they're dumb, right? <laughs> it's true. But like they're they're just really intelligent. I have that a little bit. Like when I my resting face. Oh yeah, uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> Like, oh yeah! <laughs> oh bit. damn, you bitch! I used to. Yeah, I know I do, right? I have like yeah. a resting dumb face. I get that a lot. Like my 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 default look is just like a little bit dumb, right? So, but then um, but then that goes to that's just how people react to people, and yeah. you know, everyone to a certain degree, and we mention this all the time, is that there is this degree of like judging a book by its cover, right? You judge people by your immediate look at them yeah and then you come to whether you are conscious of it or not you come to all these conclusions in your mind already built in in you and you a lot of times you just don't notice but you already formed a lot of judgments on people before even getting to know them or even talking to them sometimes so um i mean i don't know like that's that's just life and i think everyone goes through that to some degree i mean some people just have a really beautiful face i'm just curious (laughs) i'm just curious with that resting bitch face people think you're always angry yeah. do you find that hard to date like like finding dates or anything mm. like that i think a day i think sometimes they got scared right yeah like guys are afraid guys, to approach you as because some male friend tell me this because they're guys so they tell me the same they say maybe they uh, maybe because you're you're single like almost forever is <laughs> because you uh you, your face looks very cold mm. Or maybe you have this. You need you a little know. love. <laughs> I don't no, know. No, but I, I, I know, I know people that actually are very attracted to the bitchy face. Really? Yeah. Sure. Like Rich, remember everyone Rich? Like oh, he yeah. loved, Like that's his thing. Like that's his fetish. That's true. Yeah. Like he loves like that bitchy looking women. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'm not really bitchy, so. Well, you're not. You're not yeah. bitchy at all. But you yeah. do have a little bit of resting bitch face, right? Yeah. <clears throat> how long? How long have you been single now? Seven years. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Seven years single, <laughs> huh? Well, I think one thing, um, I mean, because, you know, if, unless the listeners are watching the video, um, you know, once they get to know you, once anybody gets to know you, like, you're, you're a sweetheart. You're a really nice girl. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're very uh, You're the, very straightforward. Yes. Right? Yeah, so I think no that's, that's why some people may think that, oh, she's angry or she's like, or she's a bitch or whatever, because you're just straightforward. She's just, you, just, you know, you, you just tell her how it is. And I think that's really good. Some people are very scared of that, maybe, you know. Because you're strong. You know? Maybe, yeah. Because you're strong and you're smart. But, you know, 
99 percent <clears throat> people. <laughs> I'm kidding. But you know, yeah, you make、uh, make sense. Well, is that maybe that speaks a little bit of something to like your standards, though? My standards, or which part? Because you have a, guy, a lot of guys. I'm sure you have a lot of guys chasing after you, right? Like, I mean, if you're watching the video, obviously you're you're a very attractive woman.、Uh, so, like, what is it? Like, why? Like, it's it's to me. Well, maybe I'm being a little biased because I'm、mm. coming from a male perspective, and Shanghai historically has been known to be like a, a guy, a man's playground, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Of course, I know. So for me, it's mind-boggling <laughs> that you could go seven. Go seven years being single, unless you tried very hard to go seven years being single. You know what I mean?、Mm -hmm. Like to me, Shanghai is an easy place to meet people, to meet people and date. Trust me, I tried. I tried、uh, to get to know someone, but it's just not working.、Why? I think it's because of. I mean, I have my problem too because I was not that、uh, strong. Maybe, and I was, you know, when I was younger, I just don't know what I want. I didn't know what I want, and I struggling in business.、Uh, it wasn't that good, you know, and I was just like insecure. If my work isn't that good, I'm just, you know, I don't want to go out. I don't want to see people. This is my thing. So sometimes I try to explain to guys that、uh, um, what I been through. But you know, just I couldn't find that time to say it, so I just keep it to myself. So it's make it worse. So nobody, you know, have chance to know me. Why is that? Because you're just not going on dates, or are you going on dates? But it's just nothing is coming from those dates. Like what? What is what is the situation? I think in this few years, I going on few dates, like two three. In, in, in years. seven years, yeah, that's not yeah, a lot. Two, three, two, three, <laughs> two, three yeah, dates yeah, in seven yeah. years. It's yeah, very yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, what the fuck?、Uh, come on, because I think, yeah, yeah. Are I, you, I have my standards. Is this not a priority、standards. for you, or? I have my standards, and I, I'm yeah, very、so、hardly, I'm very, very difficult to have feelings with someone. But that's why actually I'm pretty 主动 is because I'm very hard to find someone I like. So every time if I see someone I like. I'm very like 主动 you know. I, I'm just very like proactive, 主动, I, I will.、Right? I was like, hey,、uh, do you want to hang out, something like this? And、uh, what are you doing today? I I would always do this. I love to do that because you know I I have to catch what I want. So you have no problems chasing the guy. I have definitely no problem. Wow, wow that's, that's rare. Great. <laughs> that's rare here. That's great. That's rare here. Yeah, that's awesome. I that's love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, 真的是很少啊。对啊 ，It's very, it's very rare. rare. Really? Yeah. I didn't know, but. I think like in Shanghai, the the usual mentality for girls is like, oh, he's the guy, I'm the girl. He's supposed to chase me. Yeah, right. Like、no. he's he's supposed to be the 主动 guy.、Yeah. It, because I I think I have actually, 蛮多 <laughs> chasing. So I I think I just think it's normal. So I don't feel like it's something,、uh, you know, interesting. You know what I mean? <laughs> can I say this? <laughs> yeah, I'm so honest,、that. but it's true. Like,、uh, you know. I'm I'm just talking the truth. Like I don't think you know I, I'm not okay. Okay, it's like I told you last time. If like some girls, uh, guys chasing them and they think he's okay, then he just you know go with him. You know maybe have a dinner or something. But I mean, you cannot、uh, like say yes to anyone, right? So what are your standards then? My standard, you know, for a guy. Yeah.、Um, actually, pretty hard to find. <laughs> So, but what are your standards? Like, what's what's like, what like just to go on a date? I'm not saying to、oh. marry or or, or or you know boyfriend girlfriend, but like for a guy to even have a chance of,、oh, let's say, yeah, dating you. Oh, good question. What what are your standards? What's like the basic men can? Be shy. Wow.、Yeah. Okay. Um. He has how to say 气质 like he has to be a good 气质嗯气质。The esteem, like confidence, the stature, yeah, yeah. stature. He has to be confident. How, how he holds himself, right? Like he have to be confident. He he have to have this, you know, guts, okay, to but handle. But not cocky though, right? Not like overly confident. Like you, I mean, cheese. You 太过于有有气质，可能 maybe 感会感觉有点 cocky. Like you like you're like you're too. No, cheese is not confidence. Cheese is like, like this. Something aura inside. Aura about them, like this. Aura,、okay. like an elegance. Elegance. Like if you say like a 女孩子有气质 is like they are very elegant. Elegant,、mm, something know, like、mm, this. Oh,、mm. uh, and yeah,、uh, he has to be like.、Uh, Maybe cocky, but in the smart way. 
Mm-hmm. You know, not stupid. Not way. cocky to be cocky. Because some people cocky because they don't have confidence. They have to act mm. like they're cocky. So It's they, they, they can thing. be cocky, but they have to be able to back up that cockiness. Yeah, right? they don't. They know. They know what to say. I, I think what、know? she's trying to say is natural confidence. Yeah,、It's、because、and、swag. She's a swag. Yeah, because、right? <laughs> yeah, 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 swag. Because I feel like I think what she's trying to say is that yes, you, you'll see these people that they think they're, they're they're confident because let's say oh I have muscles or I'm confident because I have money or I'm confident because of whatever. But that's not real confidence.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's just telling themselves they're confident. But some people are just naturally confident because they don't give a shit. No. Like, yeah. So that's the I think the difference. Okay. It's like you you uh you love yourself. It's not because you know. Or what you have, it's because who you are.、Mm-hmm. You know these things. It's it's very least people have it. Yeah, I, I, I agree.、So. It's a natural built-in confidence, and it's not based on things that you've surrounded yourself with、yeah. or an identity. Yes. You 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 feel like you you have right. You can feel like in Shanghai, it's very normal. It's like lots of guys they gather together, hang out to a club, and you know try to get girls, and some of the guys they do. Oh, that's, 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 new to me. <laughs> that's new to me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So it's like、um, uh, they get us together and they go to a club, right? And some of them, they actually, they don't have confidence, but because they have cool friends, so they feel like I'm something、oh. tonight. You know, I'm someone. I can get girls. But if they were on their own, they'd、yeah. be like maybe like <laughs> yes. <And> they, <laughs> <laughs> it's true. And they would try to try to call their you know、uh, friends like, hey, you should. Go out today, you know, something like that. Well, it's it's also it's actually a very like primal behavior, right? It's like, for example, when you go out to the clubs, especially here. Well, actually, it's everywhere in the world, right? It's like I'm popping bottles,、mm. right? Oh, I have all these. Like, they hide. At, they hide behind like the table and the、yeah. bottles and the VIP service. I Me, mean, like, well, I'm、yeah. the Obuchi. I'm like this、yeah. big yeah. shot. Yeah, well,、right. that's what she's talking about. It's like they're puffing the chest, but then maybe what she's trying to look for is the guy that doesn't need to puff their chest because、yeah. they know that they're confident already. I a thousand percent agree with you, and I can probably speak for how we he we we all feel the same way. But can we really blame the guys who are showy and want to? Because like historically, look in in this culture, it has been very materialistic. You know, historically, girls. Have been, you know, a little bit materialistic. Seeing kind of like, okay, what do what do you have? Like, how much can you, how much can you spend, and what what can you buy for me? And you know, there there is a little bit of that, right? Historically, le- much less so now today. I feel,、uh, yeah. but in days past, there has been that element to it. So I think it's maybe conditioned guys to be like, well, if I want to find a girl, I have to.、Uh, Peacock, you know, peacocking. An English term is called peacocking. It's like showing your colorful feathers, like a bird,、mm-hmm. right?、Mm-hmm. I have to show you all everything I got, how much I can spend, how much I earn. You know, like look at my like Gucci loafers, right? Look at my car. Look at me popping bottles in a club. So, in in one way is like I agree with you, but like at the other end, like I feel like many guys, especially the local guys here, have been conditioned to to think that way. That's why I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're different. I don't know. I I、that、hope I'm not single forever. Yeah, you know, I'm still waiting. But well, let me ask you something because this、yeah. is something that I I've been thinking. I I used to think about a lot. Um, so like, um, I mean, maybe Justin, you can help. You can help attest to this because you know sometimes there are certain type of people like you said that peacock, right? Because、mm-hmm. like, they're like, well, I mean, certain type of girls attracted to that, and it's true. If those guys peacock and show off. There are a certain type of girls, very beautiful girls or whatever, will come and be like, "Ooh, hey, how? What's your name?" Blah blah blah, blah. and they go into that, get into that,、yeah. right? But it's but it's those girls that maybe like you, or、uh-huh. maybe some other types out there that are a little bit more, yo, know, maybe nehan, or maybe a little bit more, it's a little bit more deeper, like like it takes more, more substance, a little more substance, right?、Mm-hmm. But the but those same type of guys that don't do that maybe also maybe have a little more substance as well.、Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so. It's okay. I think it's okay to do that. Yeah. You know what I mean. I think it's okay for the peacocking to happen and for those type of girls to go get into that.、Mm. Don't、yeah. you think? Yeah. And also, like maybe it's harder for those type of people we're talking about that. I, you know, I hate to say this, like though we, we were saying like substance, right? But I'm not trying to infer that other people who don't aren't not saying yeah, yeah, yeah don't have yeah, substance. Yeah, yeah. Everyone course, has a little bit of substance, but um.、Yeah. But the type of people we're talking about who don't care to peacock, don't share, don't care to be flashy, and things like you that are thinking a little bit on an, on a different layer, they they won't be at the clubs in the first place. 
there was a, that I was going to say. So you don't have that. You don't have like that playground to even meet. You know. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So that's why um, no club, <laughs> <laughs> no clubbing. <laughs> When's the last time you went clubbing? Anymore. Um, yesterday. <laughs> no, come on. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, no clubbing co- anymore except for COVID nineteen. Come on. Um, okay. Okay, the the sadness I have to tell you. Okay, um, I used to love to go club very obviously, but uh, since I was twenty two, I I still go club sometimes, but I always find this emptiness, and you know I find this sadness every time. I just feel so sad. Mm. I don't know. I just feel I just feel so sad. You know, after I get out of the club, or even when I'm in the club, I see everybody dancing. They're so happy, and I don't know, I don't know why they're so happy. And I, I was kind of jealous. Mm-hmm. I want to be like that. I used to be like that, but someday it it just stopped. So I don't know if hmm. why. Do you guys have any? You <laughs> 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 I grew up maybe maybe so I just finally you know accept that okay Jenny your time is past <laughs> you just cannot have fun anymore in the club so you know just but that's ridiculous though because mm. you're still you're still quite young hey this is weird I'm telling you when I was in US I go to clubbing I was so happy <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it's just you just needed the change of atmosphere uh, the yeah. city the city because yeah, maybe you've been in Shanghai all your life yeah I'm Shanghainese so yeah. that's why I, I get tired of it so yeah, it's not about clubbing. It's just about w- where I am. Do you think Shanghainese girls have a different set of, um, in general? Let's if we were to stereotype, mm-hmm. because you being a Shanghainese girl all your life, right? Um, where like do you feel? Because there's a certain stigma. stigma. There is right. There's a certain okay. No, I know no, you're, you're looking at me weird now, okay? But there's a certain stigma for Shanghainese girls in. Um, in a lot of people's eyes, and the stigma is usually, you see, okay, when you go out on the street, you see two couples and they're Shanghainese. You see the guy holding the purse, oh. right? Um, you know, you hear all these stories, and they're true stories of like, you know, when you get married with a Shanghainese girl, she controls all the finances, and she gives the husband an allowance, allowance of his own money. <laughs> okay. So he ha- he has like an allowance from the wife of the money that he's earning. So <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, right? <laughs> but it's true. You can hear the bitter, like the oh, anger. Oh no, voice. That, yeah, that anger? gets my that. Oh, that grinds my <laughs> gears. The anger in his voice. That grinds my gears. Like, like never in a million years would I ever let that happen. But I mean, like I feel like a how is okay with that. You're okay with that, right? Okay with what? No, how is a bitch? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, are you okay with like holding a purse, right? Like, are you Pop kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you see, because you got a baby face. Yeah. No. He- you should get no. tattoo. Hell no. <laughs> I, nothing against it. Well, no, I do have something against it. As a matter of fact, I've literally when I when I, uh, there are times when I was younger, I would go to the guy and be like, and just shake my head at them. <laughs> like, I've done it. Like you will walk up to strangers like, holding a person, you just shake I just your shake. Heads, the, like, I just shake my head. I just keep walking. Like it's get just, your balls back. Right? Yeah, like literally. Like <laughs> come on. No, I mean like you guys. Okay, you guys. Will you guys? If if you guys get drunk after a club, you guys definitely will do that. You know, after they get drunk. No, he's saying he do that sober. Like on the street. No. <laughs> no, no. I'm saying shaking the head. Oh, at shaking people. the yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah sober. Oh, sober. Are you talking about holding the purse? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, I've never. On. I've never. I can say, when I'm drunk, I can hardly even stand up, let alone hold the purse. Unlike, <laughs> unlike, unlike people in this room. <laughs> okay. Unlike people in this room, I have never held a purse walking around. <laughs> oh, normally shit, you call me out like normally. that. Normally, damn, bro. I've never. Unless damn, that bro. person is carrying like a heavy bag, or needs to tie their shoelaces so I can hold it from them for a second. Yeah, of course. No problem, but if we're just like walking around like la di da di da, and it's just a regular purse, I don't know. I just feel like I don't, I don't, I don't want to hold your, I don't want to hold your purse. But what if like you really love someone, like you really love her, you don't want to. I can put that know. right back at them. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like if you really love me, why are you making me hold your purse? No, no, no. Okay. Because she loves to watch you hold her purse. Oh, that's horrible. Man. Many <laughs> have asked me to hold the purse before. Really? Okay? And uh, yeah. and and my logic is that. <laughs> How my, my dare logic, them? How dare them? No, no. Look my logic you. is like. Like, why did you buy the purse in the first place if it's, if so it's heavy something that. you want me to hold? You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's weird. It's like it's weird. It's like me buying a suitcase and be like, here, you carry this all the time. Like, or me buying shoes for myself, but like you wear them. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, it's weird. Those are bad analogies. It's, it's cultural, I think. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's culture. <laughs> it's a power trip. It feels like yeah, a power trip. So. It's like, what would you do to prove your love to me? 
Or it's just like it's just like claiming this is mine. Like this is my property. Like know. this is this man is my property now. Oh. And here's oh. here's the here's the uh, here's the evidence of that for everyone to see. Like this is mine now. It's like marking somebody. Maybe. Like, what do you sense. think? Make no, no, you're sense. the girl. Like, what do you think? I mean, some, no, I never do. Come on. Even but you guys like, have, you never talk about it with your friends? No. And you haven't because, done it because you haven't had a boyfriend for seven years. <laughs> no, uh, no. When I had the day a you have boyfriend, a boyfriend, I bet you're making him carry your purse. <laughs> no, no, never, 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 ever. First, I don't, I don't have a purse. Okay? <laughs> I don't have a wallet too. But anyway, I think as you said, it's like a mark. I think so. Yeah, some girls they are insecure. They have to, you know, maybe this girl, you know, he has, uh, she has a, a very handsome boyfriend. I, I'm telling you, a lot of handsome guys do this. Oh, no, I see lot it all of, time. lot of, Sure. They really like uh, hold a purse for this girl. I think, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky. I think so. And then she wants showing off. Sorry, girls, but, you know, I'm just be honest. Yeah. <laughs> but mm. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Well, so going back to the whole like Shanghai girl stigma, do you find that true, or do you do you think it's just bullshit? Half half, because time changes now. It's like we we are different now. I think. So you think that's an old stigma, and it's not as true today. I want to tell you one thing. Even Taiwanese girl, they did the same still because I have these friends, you know. I think it's. <clears throat> I don't think it's about the area because you know which you are Shen Yeah, it's not just Shanghai. So it's like yeah, I feel like they, yeah they they do it too. Um, I think it's more about like what kind of huanjing mm. environment that you grew up in mm. and like and what you've like experienced in the jiechu right. So I think for more people for people who are a little bit more, for lack of a better description, international, maybe will not tend to do that as much. I doubt I, it. I think. I think even for foreigner girls, the same. Because I really rarely see it in the foreigner side. You should see some movie. They do the same. I mean, like, like, like I said, it's like, <clears throat> or the Koreans can, do it. Really? The Koreans. Yeah, the because Koreans you, you can hold somebody. Like, for example, my rule, and I've established this with my wife. It's like, if you want me to hold something because it's too heavy or something like that, no problem. If you're shopping and there's like, or we're shopping and there's like heavy stuff, no problem. Uh -huh. I'll carry everything. Yeah, you know what I mean. But if it's a little purse, <laughs> like right, you're this totally little thing, capable of carrying this little thing that's not heavy, yeah. and you want me to carry it because you're tired, or or th then don't bring it out. It's a mark. But it's not only just about the heaviness. It's about like that is your accessory that you bought. <clears throat> you know, like. It's like you making me wear your earrings. Like, why would I do that? Like, <laughs> like you bought them for you. Yeah. Like, you know, like, yeah. why would you? Oh yeah, it's like, oh, I love these earrings. They look so good on me. But hey, you have to wear them out. Yeah. It's like what? It, like I said, it's a mark as a power trip. It's yeah. It's it's. It's like she she thinks she has this power to let you do anything for her. Yeah. It, it, okay. Is it the same? I'm just a question. Okay. Is it the mm -hmm. same as you know? Some girls would say, well, the guy if the guy gave like. <laughs> Moved his account, his financial account, to me, mm -hmm. so I'm controlling finances. As you being the girl, me being okay. the girl, I'm controlling finances. That also proves that the guy loves me. I'd love to have that. <laughs> you would like to have that <laughs> if you want to, yeah. Well, of course, I won't say no. Your, 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 some people are. Thinking but that I way. think mm, okay, go on. No, I don't want to cut you off. Go on. <clears throat> I mean, like, it, but it's not. I don't think a girl would really ask for that. Like, maybe also half half. I, I, I've, heard, I've heard. I've heard about plenty of girls. I've heard plenty really? as well. Yeah. yeah. I don't know girls. I feel like that's a very common thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You necessary. guys know girls. But do you think it's more? It's less about like being having like a power trip. When it comes to the financial thing, right? It's less about power trip, but it's more about like if I control the funds and I give you a salary, there's no way you can have a xiao san, right? There's no way you can go out and and have all these mistresses, which is also we know is a very common thing. Um, because you don't have the money to pay for these mistresses. There's always a way <laughs> to have Xiao San, okay? Even he has no money, maybe this Xiao San would give him money. Mm. Now girls make a lot. You mean the Xiao San gives the guy money? Yeah. So the guy, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my mind is going like, like the... Uh, of course. No, because yeah. I'm thinking of all these possibilities. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm telling I'm you, like, girl, I'm telling you, if if you do this to your guy, it's more dangerous. Do you know why? 
because you bottle them up and they they're gonna want to rebel even more. No, it's no? because if that Xiao San find out, she can be a good bitch. <laughs> she can oh, yeah, be a all yeah, yeah. oh, your wife, all oh, your girlfriend. Do this to you. Yeah. To you. He, he she's such a control freak. But here you go. If you wanna maybe some help, you you can come to me. Like I'm not gonna do that to you. <laughs> I'm so much nicer to you. Yeah, You're so much freer same. with me. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Right? Think about it. Interesting. Think I'm about gonna, it. I'm gonna ask you a very personal question. Okay. Has anyone ever tried to make you their shao san? Yes. Really? Yeah. Actually, um, uh, it's just you know, yeah. And, and just oh, for the yeah. listeners, for <laughs> listeners in the West who don't know what a shao san is, a shao san is a mistress. Mistress, yeah. yeah. Oh, mistress, but it's not married guy. Obviously, it's never married guy. So, but it's a guy that's in a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Side chick. That's so is, is, so is that chick. still a Shao San if you're not married? <clears throat> is that still considered a Shao San? Yes. Well, I, yeah. I mean, Shao San, I mean, from my understanding, Shao San is like, yeah, the, it's the side chick on the side, but even more. It's like, I'm also going to be like treating you like my girlfriend. So I'm going to, whether it's financially like buy or, you a house, or emotionally, like, well, it doesn't necessarily, yeah. but maybe traditionally some people will do that, right? I'll rent an apartment. You can stay there, mm -hmm. you know, oh, or is, like support, support mistress. you financially. This is a qing fu. Okay, but is Xiaosan? Xiaosan is like uh, you said because you, uh, this guy bought you an apartment or something, rent apartment, and you live in there. She gave you uh, money, something. This is sugar daddy, sugar daddy, and this is you know mistress. Is Xiaosan is kind of different. Really, what's I the difference? I think Xiaosan is like uh, the the third <coughs> girlfriend. <laughs> you know, no, but that's the same thing. What's Xiaosan is but Xiaosan don't take money, no. 没有啊,小三也有啊。Yeah, you take money. Okay. That's what I that's what yeah, my that's, understanding that's, is. That's my understanding too. Oh really? Yeah. But for me, I think it's uh, Xiaosan is just like the third 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 person who also like this guy. Yeah. Well, I don't think you that know? taking money or not taking money can qualify or disqualify as a Xiaosan. Just that just depends on the nature of that relationship. Yeah. But any mistress to me is a Xiaosan. And, okay. and, and, and in my mind, yeah, in my mind, it was always like for married men, <laughs> when they have, you know, a mistress on the side or even several mistresses on the side, those were like the Xiaosan, right? Um, but I've never really, th I never really heard that term applied to people who were just dating. Yeah. Oh, it's like uh, serious. Yeah, if it's a shell sign. So something. maybe I, I'm not. No, I'm just. I mean, uh, listeners, if if you're out there and you know, you can clarify this. You let know, us know. Just, <laughs> let us know. Just <laughs> comment in the comment section or something. I don't know, but so how did you find out? In your experience, you said because you said there was someone that tried to make you their shell sign. No, 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 he didn't try anything to make me there. You <laughs> were the one. <laughs> ah, what? No, no, no. what? <laughs> Come on, no, no, no. Okay, okay. I was just trying to hang out with him. Okay, I didn't do anything. Did you know he was in a relationship? Already? Of course, I know. Okay. Um, do I look like a stupid? No, no, no. But some, <laughs> some, some guys, you know, hide it pretty well. You know, you know. Uh, I'm a spy, so okay. cannot. Oh, Actually, yeah. a lot of okay. women are spy. You know, they're not stupid. They maybe pretend they don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go on. No, I'm just like uh, I. I ask a guy who has a girlfriend out. What's mm -hmm. the problem? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, actually, um, I think that was not that good, okay? But, you know, as long, I think for me, as long as they, they're not married, okay? Because we are all single if we, we are not it's married. It's fair game. If they're not married, fair game, it's right? Like, uh, it's like, a, you know, I think it's, it's a single for me. But, okay, so if I have boyfriend, I'm not gonna cheat. Okay, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> so is your Gray area <laughs> yeah is your mentality more like okay i can make advances towards a guy who might have a girlfriend and the ball's in his court whatever decision he wants to make so it's not like you're forcing him to do anything if he decides to do anything with you or have a relationship with you that's on him oh is you that, mean force kind of guys to to be with you huh you mean force a guy to be with you no like in your situation if a guy already has a girlfriend yeah but you like this guy uh, yeah, right? yeah. So you might maybe like, you know, reach out to him and talk to him and maybe even like, you know, like try to like ask him out on a date. Mm -hmm. So for you, because he's not married, you know, it's all fair game for you. It's fair. But so the the decision is on him yeah. to make that decision. Yeah. Is that what it was like? Is that kind of like your mentality? I think so. And uh, it's just hang out. It's nothing else, right? So hang out is like uh, getting to know a friend. Even it's just, just this friend, I like him. 
Can I have yeah, a friend? Come on, like you, you, you could be platonic, right? No. But just a moment ago, uh-huh. Jenny, you were like, "You're not stupid." <laughs> I'm not okay? stupid. Yeah, you're not stupid. So the whole thing is, is like, and people aren't. A lot of people aren't stupid. So it's like the whole thing is like the whole platonic thing when a girl is is zudona proactively like reaching out and trying to get a guy's attention who's clearly in another relationship. You know exactly what you're doing. I told you in the beginning that if I see someone I like, I will go for it, right? Yep. And I see someone I like, he has girlfriend. What can I do? Like, I want to just get to know him, yeah. okay? And I'm single. He's not married. Okay, to be honest, in the future, I'm not going to do this, okay? But I had this because you asked me. So I have to be honest because here is the honest drink. Yep. So, <laughs> so yeah, I just have, uh, I just tell you this experience that what's going on. So I mean, this is not good thing. It's really not good thing, but I've done it. Mm-hmm. And actually, to be honest, I asked him out, you know, just hang out and have uh, have a lunch or something. But it's not like I want he be my boyfriend or something. Just I want to get to know this person mm-hmm. because I really very hard to find someone I'm interesting in. You just so want to cross the gem, you just yeah. want to So you were curious about this person because yeah, he, he he interested in you. <sighs> obviously yeah. and i don't want to let it go i don't want to let my chance go because we only live once mm. so you don't think mm. that much you just go for it yeah because what if it turned into true love right like like you would at least you took that chance right at least i took that chance yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm not gonna regret anything in my life so that's why i i go for it mm. yes i think we think too much sometimes and people judge Mm. So that's why we think, oh, maybe I'm not a good, but you know who you are and you, it's just, we are human, you know, we cannot control, you know, our feelings and emotions. If, if we can control, there's no divorce, okay? People won't get divorced if we can control. So I think it's very natural, you know. <laughs> like, why did you... um? Because I'm thinking as a psychologist. Number one, cheers. You go, cheers. girl. You go, girl. More power to you. <laughs> but I'm right now because I'm like sitting here and I'm like listening to you and I'm trying to like put my like psychology hat on. <clears throat> and uh, you know, kind of out of nowhere, you just brought up the whole divorce thing. Mm. Like, where? What does that mean to you? Like, why is that? Is that something that's that you think about like like you don't want to ever get a divorce is that something you fear or something or i definitely don't want to get divorced if i get married okay because all the people around me i believe all the people around you are get divorced or getting divorced this is do you see do you see that a lot now around you a lot a lot the divorce rates are rising here yeah are i feel rising. like it's like lately in china yeah. it's, it's definitely rising. rising and it's not just a spike due to covid because we all know like worldwide there's been like a, a spike, spike in divorce rates yeah. due to the uh, quarantine and people staying at home but no this has been happening for years now in in in, in china yeah, specifically in the uh, in the main cities yes and you've seen that like around you around your friends you've seen like you know young people <clears throat> like getting married and then getting divorced around you yes really yes a lot a lot Wow. Well, well, from my understanding, you can you can you know give your opinion on it. From my understanding, it's like um, culturally speaking, uh, more traditional couples, if they get married, they will ignore the problems or 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 difficulties for the children, right? Because for the betterment of the family. But um, modern society, uh, women becoming more um, empowered and individualistic. And independent. And independent financially independent. Financially independent, financially yeah. independent like all that stuff, right? It, it becomes like, well, why do I have to settle? Like, why, why, why do I have to just like, mm-hmm. yeah. just for keeping the family like, together? Like, sort of the end, they're less desperate. Yeah, you know, exactly. Before, yeah, yeah. before they thought like maybe they had less options. They were it was more of a man's world, quote unquote, man's world. They yeah. were more a little more desperate to find a guy, so they would like you say turn the other cheek on a lot of things and settle in a lot of ways. But now girls have a lot of options. They're very they're very empowered, like you say. They're very financially they're more financially dependent, where they don't have to rely mm-hmm. on men as much. 
So they're like, yeah, like I'm gonna go out for my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get my like, own. Like, you what, don't fit me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like next one, like you, like yeah. you know that they don't, they don't have to settle as much. Yeah. Is that is that the case? You think? Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, definitely. But I think it's very unhealthy, to be honest. I, I, I mean, for now, you know, I mean, even all of the world. I think you know marriage. A lot of people they get married. They don't know how to you know uh, management in marriage. That's what I feel. I think they need to maybe read more books or you know uh, try to understand more about their partners, you know, before they get married. Do you think it's because a lot of people traditionally here、mm-hmm. have the old mentality, and obviously they get a lot of pressure from the family and the parents、yeah. here in China、um, that they. Uh, 为了结婚，结婚。Yeah. You know, like for the sake of marrying, get married for, just for the sake of getting married because it's times up. It's gotta get married. You know, it's like, oh, at this at this age, I need to go to college. At this age, I need to have a job. At this age, I need to get married. At this、Ingai. age, I need to have a house. Ingai. Ingai. Like,、right? like I hate this word. Ingai. Ingai. Yeah. Right. You have to like because everything is like ingai. Like, oh, you're a man. You should marry. 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 You should You know,、mm. whatever,、yeah. whatever. In guy, instead of doing it for the right reasons and really finding like true love and you know all these things, like they are hard to find. I agree. Like I mean, they're hard to find. But like people maybe do it for the wrong reasons. Do you think that's why there's so much divorce around you that you're seeing? Of course, yeah. A lot of you know local、uh, Shanghainese girls, they do this because、uh, their parents ask them to.、Mm. But you know, I think it's just. That's why you know. That's why I'm doing this. You know the 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 woman Muay Thai class. Actually, this is for、uh, in inspire people. Like uh, uh, ask more Chinese girls into the class, and they can have this,、um, you know, project to、uh, learn how to fight to 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 defend themselves, and you know to find them, you know,、uh, the better self, and to be stronger and find who you are and、uh, what you really want. So I think for women, they have to learn to self love first, and you have to have this power to,、um, you know, to say no or、um, have this confidence to communicate with your partner, because I think lots of I think Chinese girls, they are afraid of something. They they are afraid of something. Maybe like they think they are、uh, too old now. Or maybe they think、uh, they're not good enough. You know, they have a lot of insecurities. Insecurities. So this is, I think, it's all about a woman. Why? Why do you think? Why? 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 A a person learning how to physically fight, and they can translate that kind of confidence of knowing how to physically fight into metaphorically fighting for the things that they want in life, fighting for whether it's like relationship goals or career goals. It it it, it, it translates into it trickles down into all that like that mindset. Definitely, definitely can because I was like that. Okay, I was not. I I've been always strong girl, but I had my、uh, you know struggle. But every time I if I tr-、uh, training,、uh, I let anger out. I find myself, you know, during the training. So that's why, <coughs> yeah, it helps. It helps. So,、uh, I mean, you're still pretty young. Like, what's what's Like <laughs> what? What changes or any changes do you feel you need to make about yourself in your own life or your own mentality, in terms of、um, growing? And you know, even on the relationship front, like it seems like you know, a relationship is something you do want. It's not like you don't want it, but you Some, don't want to settle, right? Sounds like I don't want. No, no, no. It sounds it. like you do want. Oh,、it. I do. Okay. Right. But it just seems like you have your standards, and you're not willing to compromise on your standards, which I respect.、Um, so, I mean, it's been seven years. How much longer are you willing to wait, or is there is time not even a factor for you? And it's just like if you meet the right person, you meet the right person. Good question. Good question. Actually, you know, not even me. A lot of girls they've been single for years. 
in in Shanghai. I mean, um, I don't know. I I think I think lately I start to uh you know to try new things and you know maybe give others more chance, even give myself chance to know, you know, people. What kind of new things? Um. Uh, I tried to, you know, I, as the Jenny and G show, the cooking show, I tried mm. to, you know, study the, the cooking, you know, improve myself. I mean, also, you know, um, just always improve myself and, you know, get to know people. Mm. I go out now. Okay. I, I, I go out to, I'm, <laughs> I'm open. You're more social. I, I think so. Yeah. So you used I'm to be not social. so social. No, oh, I'm, uh, okay. I'm pretty afraid of the group. You know, mm. I just feel, I don't know why, I don't know if you guys have these feelings, you would feel those empty, like you see a lot of people gather together, you think it's a little bit fake, no? Mm. It's like they're like just like a drink and get drunk. <laughs> we know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> we know it's, exactly what you're talking about. It's pretty empty yeah. Yeah. and it's very, it's fake. Yeah. It's not, uh, it's not why we're here. It's like we, we are wasting our time. Yeah. Okay. So. That's one of the reasons why we do the show. Actually, I was just about to say that, man. Yeah, because we oh, enjoy same drinking, wavelength, brother. Same wavelength. We enjoy drinking. We enjoy conversation, and it doesn't have to be out to party. It can just do yeah. it here and just have good conversation. We could be spending our weekends at the clubs popping bottles. We could be doing that <laughs> like we used to. But the whole reason why we started this show is that there seems to be this lost space and this lack of this loss of like really connecting with people and sitting down with uninter in an uninterrupting atmosphere and really getting to know people through a long conversation with somebody. Yeah. And that's something that we miss. And like, we've spent so many years here and, and I'm not going to be as like how we maybe views it as like wasting, but I don't think it's wasted. I, I feel like I've definitely have a lot of cherished experiences and memories of partying and having fun and going out and you know all that stuff but you know as we get older we we clearly howie and i and, and eric and we both saw this kind of like this clear void in our life of like really connecting with the people we care about and not only with the people we care about but just even connecting with new people that we want to know because networking is always important and it's always good to meet new people and we found that this podcast was like, you know, really the reason why we started this podcast was we wanted an atmosphere, something we can do on the weekends just to sit down with somebody and get to know them better through a long form conversation. And hopefully we selfishly can grow by getting to know them. Right. So there is that sense of, um, there is that sense of like, uh, that depth, that I think is lost in in that party life, right? That a lot of people are, are young are caught up into. But when you're in that life, it's hard to know. Like when you're wrapped up in that life, like we were back then, like you don't you don't see it. You know, to you that is the world, right? Mm, it's different world. It's like a totally different world. You know, yeah. I mean, have you guys ever get hurt? You know, by someone or friendship. You know, sure. yeah, like I've fallen sure. on my bike a couple times. <laughs> yeah, that too. You know, you know what I mean. I'm, I just found out like uh, I need some real friendship mm. and real people surround me. It's like, very hard to find. Very hard very to find, hard it, to but find. we're trying. Yeah. And everyone, I think, everyone got broken in some way. Mm. We are broken soul. Sorry, but it's true. We are broken soul. And but we, we are all special. Okay, we have everyone have a beautiful story that willing to tell. That's why I like your show. That's why I'm here. Uh, I think no matter you know how much damage we we get, we can still find a way to stand up and become better self. So, well, what's what's because it seems like it seems like you've been through something. And I'm just speculating, but you know, going back to the whole seven year single thing, which still blows my mind, mm -hmm. but <laughs> w did that, was there something that happened seven years ago that caused this kind of drought, <laughs> the smile and this like, all. this, this like heightened state of standards and all these things like, uh, were you, were you hurt in hey, some was, way? Some what happened? Ago? Yeah. You know, actually I found out lately, 
I really find out like you know I try to understand myself every day. I find out finally. Okay, uh, seven years ago I had a relationship, uh, f- which is two for two years, and、uh, he was amazing guy. He's amazing, really good guy, but also A B C guy. <laughs> and I I just found out after I broke up with、uh, broke up with him.、Uh, why I've been single like many many years is because I th- I found out that when I was him, I always try to appreciate. That was too much. I always think. Because he was he treat me very nice, but I always have this you know thing that I feel like you know actually usually in relationship you guys、um, you know man and woman they take care of each other they love each other it's very normal and you don't have to thank each other like you know one another but I was kind of I think oh my god you're a really amazing guy and I have to thank you for everything you've done for me. Did he make you feel that way that you had to thank him, or was that just something you felt you? I think had to do? half half. I think half half, because I think he thought he always like better than me. That's、mm. it. That's that's what I feel. Like、okay? you were a charity for him. Like he was reaching down to I, you and helping you. Does he actually made me feel this way? Really? But he's good guy. You know, he's a really good that guy. That doesn't sound like a good guy. <laughs> no, no, he's good guy. Trust、okay. me. But there's something you know.、Uh, maybe it's because he's cultural, like you guys.、Mm. There's there's the topic we have to you know bring up today. <laughs> you know,、uh, you know, like deep down he think he's you know better than me. Mm-hmm. So we are never,、uh, you know, average. That's why maybe I think that way. It's not his fault. It's his. It's his. You know,、um, culture. I don't in, know. In his view, you guys were never on the same level. Is that what you're saying? This is okay. Not all the time, but sometimes. But that actually maybe I keep this in my mind. So for many years, I every time if I see someone, I have these feelings. I have to thank thank him for, like. Anything he he done for me, and this is not healthy, and this is not how it works. I think lately I really found out it's because of that, so that make me single many years. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. 我老婆是中国人 Okay.、Right? So my <laughs> wife is Chinese, and when we first started dating, right, we had a little bit of not argument or fight, but with like a little bit of an issue, and part of it was that.、Um, I always felt like she was never, she never said sorry and thank you, like those words,、mm. right? Okay. It never says it, right? And then I would, and finally, it got to the point where I'm like, why don't you ever say it? Like, like part of our fights we have is because you never say this type of shit, you know. And then she's like, why do I say it? I only say it if I really mean it. Y- you know what I mean? And she and, and she's like she's like because I'm like well because we're used to saying like careful, you, right? You know it's fine, it's fine. And it's、mm-hmm. like、um, I'm like well and we're used to saying like sorry and thank you, thank you as a respect thing. It's just like a manners, you、mm-hmm. know. And so that was like a big issue. Now now we're I mean we're we're past that, but I'm saying like at that time it was an issue. So do you think? Because you just said right now you're like well you the whole thank you idea like this is it is it maybe. That from his perspective, it's just little things. It's just like thank you. It's just like a very common thing to say. Like maybe it is a very cultural thing. Yeah, maybe it's a cultural like, thing. We've we've alluded to this in the past, where like in the West, thank you is like a reflex. Yeah, it's like, like every little thing. Like, every thanks, little thing. Thanks, like thanks.、Oh, thank you, thank you, thank、yeah. you, thank you. Like, it's it's almost lost meaning because、mm. this is like a reflex. We say it without、yeah. even thinking. But then we notice it if you don't say it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like what? what no thanks. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but I、yeah. think like in, in in local Chinese culture. When people say thank you, they, they really mean it. Mean it. Like mean you, it. you really did something for them, and they say shish, like thank you. But they, they like it's rare, like for any little thing, like even if you hold the door for somebody here, like there's no thank you. Um, they have to be saying you have to say it. Thank you. This is a manner. I hold.、Right? I, I've held doors for plenty of people. I've never heard a shish. Rarely.、Uh, they we, just we walk right、e- through. We don't even say I love you. Yeah, yeah that's another thing.、Mm. Like there is no I love you. Know? you. We don't、Why? say things like、uh, out loud, but doesn't mean we don't feel thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah that's what, true. What I heard is, 要做出来不是说出来 Action. Action speak louder than the words. Yeah. Right, and that's what I I, I got brainwashed from my wife. Well, <laughs> she's like, "Why you always got to talk about it? Look at my actions." <laughs> like,、mm-hmm. okay, okay. It's true. Yeah. It's true. So that's why I mean, for a woman,、mm-hmm. never believe what guys say. Okay. 
You have to always talk see, is cheap. Uh, very、right? cheapy. Okay, it's true. It's true. You have to see what he really doing for you. That's true. So yeah. But but, but is, going back again, do you think that that was the issue with that ex? No, it's different thing. It's different thing. Okay. Yeah, different thing. So what happened? <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what, what happened? happened? No, just like、uh, nothing happened. Well, we we good. We we well, were good. Well, I think what he's trying to say is that not necessarily what happened, but like how did that affect you to make you feel like that was such a big issue to turn into? How did it change、oh, you?、Sure. How、I'm、did、talking. it change you? You know, like、uh, change me. I I I changed. I think maybe I have、uh, less confidence. Less confidence less now. Less confidence. No, before. I oh, mean, oh, after、okay. broke up.、Okay. I think. So you have more confidence now. I I I'd love to say the confidence is back. <laughs> Okay,、mm. you know, and I think yeah, I have learned a lot from from experience. So I think I'm very good now. Well, I like okay. I want to hear from you, right? Because back then, being an ABC,、mm-hmm. right, and f- and for the listeners that don't know what an ABC is, an ABC stands for American Born Chinese. So both Howie and I are considered ABC. I mean, I wasn't technically born it's, in America. It's a generalization. It's a generalization. Basically, means Western educated, Western born. Western educated. But then there's like BBC, like British born Chinese,、yeah. and you know, the Australian born. Yeah. So if you were born outside in like a Western country, but you're of Chinese descent and ethnicity, you're considered ABC type, right? Under that umbrella.、Um, so, you know, back in the day, and by back in the day, we're talking about like ten, t- at least ten years ago when we first got here in Shanghai. Which was, oh, I think when when you're talking about you were with this guy, yeah. ABCs had a very,、uh, had it very good. Yeah.、Here. Had a very very. We were royalty here, like the way we, the way, the way we groomed ourselves, the way we held ourselves, the fact that we can spend、uh, speak English, the fact that usually typically we could spend more money than the average local person. Um, we had it really good in terms of like the dating and social life, the social、mm-hmm. scene here, right? Yeah. And so, the, like I and I know this for a fact because I was witness to this. Like there, and that does bring a lot of like cockiness to a lot of ABCs back in that day. You know, because you thought like you were Liao Bucci, yeah, like, Liao Bucci. <laughs> you know, what I mean, like, like they they held themselves like higher than the locals. It's true. Um. So, do you feel like that was a big? But both guys and girls. You know,、oh, a yeah, lot of people hated、yeah. especially the girls, especially yeah, the women, yeah, yeah, ABC yeah. women. <laughs> that was no, no, a big thing. No, no, that was, that was a huge thing. But yeah, it still、yeah. is almost to this day. Like there was a, like local girls hated ABC women, and ABC women hated local girls. I don't hate any ABC girls. I think they're they're they're. I I think it's、uh, they're very chill. Well, I think it just depends. Like you know, back then, I, I heard that all the time. Like、really? for example, for example, um, just generalization, um, our our ABC friends that are females would be like, yeah, I don't know how you date all these local girls because they're you、oh、know they、God. they don't they don't know what the fuck that's going on.、That's- you know, why don't you date more like you know. International, whatever. I've heard that so many no, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Or,、wow. or, or they'll be like, "Yeah, I would never date a local guy because you know local guys they don't get it." You know what I mean? So it's like they have this、Come、whole like kambuchi, kambuchi, yeah. Kambuchi. Yeah. And, and I hated that actually. I, I, I always、it. defended. That's pretty. That was、sad. my pet. Yeah, that was、yeah. my pet peeve. And but a large part of me believes that they were just jealous. Like a lot of ABCs, because the ABC guys when they came here, they would just date local women, <laughs> right? <laughs> they would go around. They would date all the local girls, right? In general, in general, in general, and the ABC girls here were like, "What the fuck?" You know what I mean? <laughs> like, "Hello, I'm here." Like, but all the ABC guys would be busy dating local women. So I felt like a lot, large part of that was like jealousy, maybe. So that's why, like, they kind of like like hated the ABC girls and just looked down on them and just thought like, "Oh, you know, they're just you know they're just gold diggers or whatever," right? But like the the situation now for ABCs is completely different. Yeah. Completely different now. Like ABC being an ABC here in China is nothing, nothing, <laughs> nothing special. special anymore.、Yeah. Nothing special. Nothing special anymore. And in fact, being a local guy here comes with a lot more probably、um, advantages in terms of the dating scene. In, in terms of dating local women here. Because of the national pride, China has come up. It's developed so much more. The young generation of of people here now are so much more proud to be、yeah. Chinese than back in the day. 
and sure. that pride has trickled down into like, well, you know, the guys here they can they can wear nicer clothes, they have nice cars, they have good jobs, the, their hygiene and yeah. the way they, the, the, their swag, their style, everything has come up. So it's just like why there's no there's no like why would why would an ABC be anything special anymore? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Well, what do you think? Like, do you in your dating life do you, do you have a preference towards a certain type of guy versus another type of guy? Right now, I I don't I don't know anything about dating, but I know. Uh, <laughs> as, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry for myself. Anyway, I mean, uh, as I see a Chinese boy now, okay, before back then, uh, let's say seven years ago, okay, if I see a Chinese boy, if he cannot speak English. I would think uh, I don't want to date him, hmm. you know, because I think it's not cool, and because it's, you know, here is international city, and uh, if you don't speak English, I feel like you don't, like I, I feel like you're like. Whoa. Yeah, a little bit. But this was back. This is old Jenny. Yeah, like uh, seven years ago. Okay. okay, but I knew shit too. So, but now if I see a Chinese boy. Even he cannot speak English. I would still love to, you know, uh, hang out with him because I found out, you know, I I finally found out, you know, the the beauty of Chinese culture, and you know, I have to appreciate that. You know, we can actually talk about a lot of things, like more things about books, you know, uh, movies. Mm. We have our own movies, <clears throat> and we have more, you know, better writers. You have a deeper connection with a local yeah. person yes. than you do with an ABC. Yes, and they all like, they like travel a lot. They know a lot of things, you know, so I think uh, their life quality is, you know, increased a lot. Mm. So that's why I think is there's no difference. And I think they're smart. Too. Yeah, you know so. it's really interesting because I've had a lot of. I mean, personally, I've had a lot of conversations with people um, throughout my life here, even recently, um, where if you know, say my background being American born and raised, you know, maybe the other person would be like, "Oh, that's so interesting. That's so great. Why are you here? I mean, that's amazing over there." And like, I'm always the first to defend. I'm like, "You don't know. It's not that great. I mean." It's great here. I feel like China is an amazing country, and there's a lot of、uh, beautiful culture here. And I mean, yes, I'm Chinese background, but I was born in America, so to me, it's it's very fresh. You know, even though I've been here for a long time, but to me, it's still very diverse and interesting、uh, culturally. Of course, there's good and bad for everywhere, but、yeah. I mean, it's very interesting here. There's a lot of things to be proud of if you're locally born. And I always said that it's like there's there's plenty to be proud of if you're locally born here. You know, and then and I feel like it's starting to turn, like you said. Like, yeah, you, you get some people, but like, well, yeah, I'm proud. Yeah, there there is a lot of great stuff here. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, you, if you want to use financial, for example, like, yeah, me going to those children, like you, you hear、yeah. that now, right? You know what I mean? There's so much more to be proud of now,、yeah. too, right? Like,、yeah. you know, China's come out strong,、okay. and you know, if we look into the world of politics and media, you you see that every day.、Yeah. It's interesting.、Yeah. It's definitely interesting. I mean, I just think.、Um, I mean, for me, coming from America and living here for a long time, being right in the middle,、um, I don't know if you can attest to this, Justin,、um, but、um, I mean, I'm not saying I hold any allegiance anywhere because I feel like pride in general is is a bit of a idiotic thing to have.、Um, but I can see like the good and bads of both. You know, it's not one is better than the other. It's just different. And I think it's like as long as you can appreciate. That difference and wherever you are, I think that's the most important thing. I mean, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, but like you know, we always there's always this tendency to gravitate back towards the mentality of tribalism, and that's just human nature. Is just like my camp versus your camp. So we're in a very unique position in the fact that not only are we. Have we have experienced both sides in terms of both sides being like the United States and China for like a long time,、um, but we're experiencing both sides in this very particular window of time. Yeah, you know that's true. Where, where you know just a few de- fewer decades ago, it would be completely different,、it's、right?、True. So, in this particular window of time right now, which is just a small window really in the grand scheme of things, we are here. Having been raised in the West in the United States, so we have a very unique outlook in the fact that, like, 
we can really kind of objectively try to look at both sides, but that's not most people. Most people are don't ha- do not have that privilege, I guess. And so, just like just take us for example, if we have never moved out here to China, and we stayed in the United States all our lives, right? We would have probably a very different outlook and opinion, one hundred percent, than we do now. Or if we were Chinese and we never went to the, we never had any experience in the states, and we just grew up in China our whole lives, we would have a very different outlook than we have 100%. now. So that is the that is the reality of the the world. That is the reality of the majority of people. And for us, we get to have this kind of very unique position where we get to see both sides. And and I think that's where a lot of our values comes from in terms of like us being to weigh. Both cultures and see the good and bad of both cultures, and try to, like, honestly, try to like look at things objectively and and try to learn from these things. But at, at the same time, like personally, for me, it's very frustrating because it's very frustrating knowing that I'm the minority here, not not here in China, but the minority in terms of like my perspective. Because every time, what happens when you turn on the news, you turn on the media, you look at on both sides, yeah, on both sides, <laughs> yeah. China and United States yeah. and worldwide, everywhere. Right? No one is innocent of this. No country is innocent of this.、Mm. Everyone is guilty. But like every time you look at social media, you look on Facebook, you look on Twitter, you turn on the news. Like it's all this like tribalism. It's all these opinions. This and and they're disguised. But it's, at the end of the day, it's all tribalism. It's all my side versus your side. It's all my bubble, like perspective. And not taking account into like any other kind of like culture or understanding.、Yeah. It's it's a very one sided. Everything is bias, right? No matter where you're from, you only know your own little bubble, and you form all your opinions、right. about the outside world on that bubble of understanding. So, and I'm not trying to say like, oh, I'm I'm more enlightened or cultured or educated. I'm not. I'm dumb as it can be. Okay, I'm as ignorant as anybody, <laughs> but. Just from the mere fact of the mere fact of my situation, I get to see. I get to. I get to at least step in two bubbles at the same time. So when I see a lot of the tension between, especially the United States and China and things like that, it's very frustrating because I see both sides and both sides are are like really just ignorant sometimes, you know, and it's just it's so frustrating because then you start losing faith in like people's like. In the media, really. Well, that's funny you say that because I've, per- I mean, I don't know about you or you, but I mean, I've lost faith in media. I mean, that, that's that's a far gone thought. Hundred percent. You know what I mean? Because it it really is, and, and that affects me to to feel like how do I feel about human beings in general? And I think that goes back to what you're saying. It's like, you know, you know, you 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 only know as much as your environment, right?、Mm-hmm. And what you've been told, right? Whether societal media, whatever. And if you cannot look beyond that, you can't look past that. Well then, you I mean you're kind of trapped, right? You're kind of trapped in this like very singular tunnel vision way of thinking, and that's not. I don't think that's a very nice way to live. Yeah. I mean, personally, you know. I mean, I don't know how do you, how do you feel about that? Do you, do you feel like? Because I feel like okay, so Jenny, you 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 you've lived in Shanghai all your、mm-hmm. life, but at the same time, you you live in a very international circle of friends, and、mm-hmm. like you know, and plus your gym is full of international people. You get to meet a lot of different people. I mean, do you feel like? Because of that, do you feel like the way you think and stuff like that is a little bit different? Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely. If if I don't have those, you know, international friends, of course, you know, uh, I'm different. You know, I would always think about, you know, actually, to be honest, now I don't really know what、uh, local Shanghainese, you know,、uh, like. Or where they go,、oh, I really、gosh. don't know. It's really I don't know. Like、uh, where can、uh, those young people, you know, go go party or you know for social life? I cannot find them. You're、okay? not you're not connected to that generation. <laughs> no,、okay. so well, this is not so good. Well, what about? Let me ask you. So, I mean, 反过来说 what if a local person says to you, "Well, Jenny, you hate yourself. You know, you hate yourself as a Chinese, as a local." No, it's very easy to say that, right? Oh, because you're saying like, yeah, I'm all hanging out with international, so I don't get what the locals are thinking like that. Like, do you think you're better than the local people now? No, I that's think, what I'm saying. Is like, 有可能他们也会这样认为 you know. Uh, I think they will, but I think there are some. Uh, okay, 
it depends. You know, uh, they could be something you know better, and I I can know something better than them. They can know something better than me. So it's not competition. It's like maybe、uh, because of my business, so I have to you know、uh, fit in of this international groups, and also、uh, I love to meet you know different people. <coughs> This is my hobby. But if if like、uh, local Shanghainese, they love to just hang out with you know local Shanghainese, and maybe they feel more comfortable、mm-hmm. about that. I'd love to have more you know Shanghainese friends. I love to you know、uh, fit in. Um, yeah, that that actually is why I'm trying to do, you know, to、uh, bring more Chinese, you know, members in my gym, so I can get to know them and、uh, we can see what we can do better together. Yeah, I mean, me too. I mean, I think that goes with all people. Like, if you see the foreigners here, they tend to just like to hang out with other foreigners, right? ABCs tend to like to hang out with other ABCs, right? Locals, it's just your tribe. You know that goes back to the whole thing. Like、yeah. that's your tribe of people, and the people you're gonna tend to gravitate towards. Obviously, not everyone's like that, but like I think there's a there's a big importance in in trying to break out of your own little bubble and trying to interact with more people. I know for yourself, Howie, in the past several last few years, you've you've spoken to me and you've actually stated like, look, I'm trying to break out my bubble. I'm trying to actually hang out with more locals, hang out with more like you know local. Chinese, wherever they're from, and just immerse myself in that culture, and break out of my own bubble. You know, just be more exposed to people and take advantage of like the the the, the country I'm in, and 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 make new friends, and、uh, just have like a different bubble that you're a part of, right? And you've done that to a large part, and you know a lot of it is through your work, but like you've done that through a large part, and I think that's 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 very that's a very valuable experience that. I yeah, I love it. To do. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, and it goes back to the idea of like breaking out of our comfort zones, because hanging out with people that are、uh, that are like similar to you, that is the comfort zone,、mm. right? Yeah, it's it's very comfortable. Well, you don't want to feel alone, right? So it's、yeah. like we we both come from a very similar ex- background experience. So I don't feel alone. So we we can talk about our own little little stuff, and and you get it,、mm-hmm. right? And if you're with a bunch of other people that don't get it, or they have a different upbringing, then maybe it's a little bit like, well, you don't understand. So why do I even bothering? Yeah. But if that's the only mentality you have, you'll never progress. Yeah. You'll never keep moving forward. Right. If you only have the mentality of I'm only going to hang out with people that know me, I'm only going to do things because it's safe. I'm only going to, you know, not I'm not going to take a chance. You're never going to get out of,、um, you know, your your stagnant position. You're not going you're not going to progress.、Yeah. But it is really hard, though, right? I can speak from my own experience. Like, it's hard, like being that, like you know, I, you, I, you like to be in a comfort zone. I, I, of course, I, everyone、yeah. likes to be in a comfort zone. <laughs>、yeah. But like, yeah, I I do I do have a problem of getting stuck in a comfort zone. And you know, I've I've tried like trying to like interact with like a group of like all locals, like complete locals,、really? and, and and it's very hard because you feel so odd there. How? Tell because me. Because you number one, you don't really get like on the surface, you can understand the conversation, but like you don't really get like the deeper meaning behind like a lot of things they're saying or the inside jokes or a lot of the references they're making, and it seems like they have to slow down their. Their social interaction, just to keep you in the loop. So like they're helping you stay in the conversation, which is not a comfortable position to be in because then it feels like very, very forced, right?、Uh, where they have to like attend to you. Like there's a very mean. It's like you're like we you become the elephant in the room. Oh, there's a guy who's there's a guy here who's Chinese isn't so good, who's not from our culture. He's trying to fit in. Let's try to make him feel welcome, everybody. So everyone's going out of the way to try to make you feel like welcome. But meanwhile, like you don't really get it. You don't really. You're not really understanding everything, and they're kind of in their own thing. And the things that you're trying to refer to just don't vibe with their culture. And like, there's this clear dis- disconnect. But everyone's good hearted and good spirit and trying to make it work. Which just makes the whole situation very awkward at times, right? Right, like, and so I get it, yeah. So it, it, it's very hard. It's not a pleasant experience, but I think the more you try to do it, the easier it gets.、Yeah. Like with anything, yeah. And plus, you, 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 I mean, personally for you, like, you would start to catch on. Like as as you as you、yeah. experience it more and more, you'll start getting the nuances of language. You start getting the nuances of. 
you know these references that you're talking about yeah and then because even for me like yeah in the beginning when i hang out and it's all like chinese mandarin speaking group no english and then i always okay, they'll they'll stop and they'll be like oh you know, they'll stop and they'll ask me like if everyone I understand. stops and turns yeah. around and, and looks I, at and you and I always say to them I'm like but <laughs> and I'm like yeah. if I don't understand I'll ask you yeah. just continue please because I don't want to be the guy to slow it down exactly. I know exactly what you mean the anchor right? there and yeah. even if I don't know I'm, I'm not going to say it I'm just going to try to guess but then eventually I, I kind of get it like I start getting it okay so I think it's maybe ego. I don't know because if I hang out with you know the the Western friends, let's say, if I if I don't understand anything, I'm I'm I was always like immediately ask. I I'm going to stop them and hey, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I will ask that. Maybe yeah. maybe you should try to be more chill, mm. or maybe try different group. Maybe the the local Chinese people you guys hang out with. It's not you guys don't have you know uh, something in common. Yeah, you find some someone like uh, maybe you work out together or you you guys you know um, like something same. Then maybe I think it's different. Mm. I don't think it's anything about a uh, culture and country. I think it's about the people. Mm. Sometimes I get it. I get it. I mean, I mean personally for me, I'm not gonna speak for you, Justin, but for me. Um, in general, unless the topic is so far fetched that I know that I'm opening up a can of worms for you to explain to me what you're talking about, if it's something small, like if it, we're talking about something, we're, we're having a deep conversation, and something like I don't, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the use of vocabulary I don't understand, I'll be like, oh, hold on, hold on, what does that mean? What does that mean? Mm-hmm. All, right, all right, I got it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> but if we're talking about the old, like we're talking about ancient politics during the Qing Dynasty, <laughs> I'm not going to stop you to explain it. I'm like, just, just talk. <laughs> okay. Just talk. Oh, you're not an expert on <laughs> that. Just talk. Because I'm an expert on that. You're using a lot of words I don't know. Just talk. It's fine. <laughs> no, but it's not just about you understanding what they're saying. Is that when you try to express what you're like, you uh-huh. try to get involved in the conversation, right? And then you try to uh-huh. You can't like express yourself in a way like you try to express yourself and then they look at you with this blank stare. <laughs> like they, they have like no clue what you just said, you know? You might as well just not talk. Yeah. <laughs> but and they're just Chinese- like, what do you mean? Like, and I'm like trying to express myself, but they just like, they just don't understand it, you know? But your Chinese is good. Your Chinese. It's good on the surface. It's oh. good on the surface. Like, oh, okay. But plain communication. Yeah, plain yeah. communication is fine. But like if I really, because usually if I try to express myself, if I even bother to try to express myself, <laughs> it's <laughs> because I don't always, right? Besides on the show. But like if I, tr- if I really try to, like I try to like say something like I'm really feeling and it's, it's usually something of more depth that's happened that i'm feeling so when it comes to that like my vo- my chinese vocabulary vocabulary is not strong enough to really enforce that thought so oftentimes i just have to rely on my basic chinese vocabulary my surface chinese chinese vocabulary to try to express deeper thoughts you know what i'm saying and and it just doesn't come out it doesn't translate so they look at me with these blank stares and like, um, okay, whatever, <laughs> whatever you just said, but we're going to go on with this conversation now. And it, you know, becomes weird. I mean, maybe you didn't want to explain. Uh, imagine if, if the, there's a, just a super hot Chinese girl standing Ooh, in front I'll of you. Oh, I'll explain. I'll start <laughs> explaining. My Chinese will be good right you away. See? It's like, and you <laughs> like see? it's just <laughs> coming out of your mouth. <laughs> you gotta it's like so fluent. Like, like scholarly like, Chinese. Chinese. <laughs> So that's why I'm like writing like <laughs> you know I'm like doing calligraphy Chinese ancient calligraphy <laughs> like Makes writing sense. poems in Chinese. <laughs> you you get me now. I mean like it's just yeah. you don't you didn't want to explain this. You just all. don't give a fuck. Come on, it's, it depends like who you with. No, 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 no. We're joking, but it, I really do want to explain. But my, you know, like on, on a deeper level, my Chinese, my vocabulary, vocabulary is just not good enough to express those deeper thoughts. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's pretty yeah. normal. I mean, as long as you're within like a group, even like, okay, even if you're like within, like we're in within our own English speaking group, but those people do like, I don't know, like space travel. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like they're using space. like lingo that we don't even know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, maybe okay. if they're talking about a certain topic that they're really knowledgeable about, we're not really that knowledgeable about. We can maybe ask them to explain some things, but if they really go in depth, I'm just not going to add to it. Just please go ahead. Right? I mean, apparently, Howie 
attends a lot of space travel talks. But um, yeah, every other week, I mean, yeah, I've been learning. <laughs> so, Jenny, what's next for you? What's next for me? Yeah. Um, I think uh, to be honest, I I'm trying to uh, get into some new industry. I think it's the time for me to you know, um, to make a new chapter. Were you about to say something? <laughs> no. Oh no. Do you uh do you see a lot of uh young women around you being more entrepreneurial um in general in Shanghai? Yeah. You mean Sh uh, Shanghai or Ch Chinese, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think no, they like maybe they work for you know some good company, maybe they're a supervisor. But I oh my cousin, my cousin she's a entrepreneur, and she's doing great. Okay. In but the fashion industry. It's not something you see as off as often. Not that often, but yeah, it's more and more. Hmm. Yeah, it's often actually. It's often. Okay. It's often. So it wasn't mm. often, but now it's often. <laughs> I'm just it's just often. I don't know. I don't. No, I don't I, really I, from my perspective, I, I see it a lot more. I yeah. see yeah, it's a lot more. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, it's like not every more. girl is like you, but like there are a lot of Doing more, something. much yeah. more motivated because women out there. You don't forget, there's also a lot of these KOLs that oh, are, yeah, are self-pushing, right? And they're coming to Chuangye, whether it's content, like little like sweet shops or like cafes or whatever. Yeah. Taobao. Taobao, like yeah. th there's a lot of Chuangye going on. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a, a huge, it's a, very, it's a very interesting time that we're living in right now. And you have a lot more people being a lot more entrepreneurial. And you have more opportunities, actually. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be like huge company or anything. It could be small company. It's just as long as you're doing something that, you know, it's your own thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, Jenny, I think, I hope, uh, I wish the best for you in the future. I hope that you can find a, a healthy way to balance your professional objectives with your um, social and relationship and personal pr objectives. Um, I think that's always going to be a battle for people like you um because both take up a lot of time and energy and you, you're gonna have to end up prioritizing one over the other at one point or another um so i don't know like i i, I can't speak as a woman but i feel like uh like we we've spoken a lot about how women are being more empowered and more financially dependent but like women go through a lot more struggles i think and and uh, a lot more mental hurdles in their mind um than maybe men go through and that's not something I can speak on. But we can appreciate it. But we can appreciate it. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I believe that it's there. And and like look, I, I just I just hope that like um the landscape is changing. Like I'm an alien in terms of like the young landscape and social scene here. Like I have no idea what's going on anymore. But look, I hope I hope you find someone soon. I hope uh <laughs> I hope everything goes well professionally and uh, you know, I I don't know. Like you just have to uh Keep on trucking. <laughs> I think she's got a good head on her shoulders. She's she's yeah. good. She's good. Thank you, know, you. Thank you for coming. Cheers. Thank Cheers. You guys. Awesome good bourbon. That was good. That was good. I'm Justin. And I'm Howie. That was Jenny, guys. Alright, people. Peace. See ya. The rest of the sun will see.